doctrines have a major effect on the stats of your army, navy, and air force in Arts of Iron 4. Today we're talking about the doctrine that is often misunderstood. I'm of course talking about the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. Grand Battle Plan is the starting doctrine for most nations in the game. To understand the strengths of this doctrine, we're gonna have to go through the different paths. Unlike Mobile Warfare and SFP, Grand Battle Plan only has two different paths. We'll start at the beginning though. GBP starts by giving the entire army more total entrenchment and entrenchment speed. It further offers extra maximum planning, organization, and defense for all infantry types, and breakthrough and soft attack bonuses for the whole army. The right side path is the infiltration path. It offers bonuses in infantry organization and breakthrough, tank organization and recovery rate, a decrease in supply consumption, a land night attack bonus, and bonuses to reinforce rate and reconnaissance. These bonuses are a bit of a fusion between mobile warfare and mass assault, but are in their own way weaker than what either of those doctrines would provide. Plus, it misses the strengths that make the assault path much more potent. The left side path, assault, offers unique bonuses that are not found in other doctrines. Just like the right side path, it gives more organization to all infantry types and tanks, and a boost to your reinforce rate. It additionally gives another 10% buff to army breakthrough. What makes this left side path so uniquely strong though is the additional 20% bonus to maximum planning. So with an additional 30% maximum planning and the boost to entrenchment, left side grand battle plan can, if used correctly, be extremely difficult to deal with. The lack of overall stat buffs that for example SFP provides is compensated for by the fact that with the overall higher planning, grand battle plan divisions can actually reach equal or higher stats in combat when they are at their maximum planning capacity but with more breakthrough thanks to the army-wide buffs provided in the tree. Once they have taken a position, GBP divisions are also more difficult to dislodge thanks to their ability to entrench faster to a higher total entrenchment than other doctrines. GBP is also the only doctrine that synergizes well with expeditionary forces. This is easy to explain. Normally, buffs provided through doctrines only apply to the divisions made by that specific nation. So, when you receive expeditionary forces, they will retain the doctrine of the original nation and your own doctrine bonuses do not apply to them. However, the maximum planning provided in Grand Battle Plan functions more like a national spirit, as it is not directly bound to the units you've created, but rather your army as a whole, expeditionary units included. In the example on screen, you see an Australian SFP right-right uh, division still enjoying the 30% extra planning from GBP. This led to the popular strategy of expediting mobile warfare tanks to a nation with Grand Battle Plan left, so it could benefit of the bonuses from both. I highly recommend trying this out in co-op or multiplayer if you never have before. So, to summarize, Grand Battle Plan right does not hold up to other doctrines. Grand Battle Plan left, however, provides the highest maximum planning bonus in the game. Grand Battle Plan is the only doctrine that provides bonuses to expeditionary forces. Grand Battle Plan also provides the highest total entrenchment in the game, which makes it one of two extremely potent defensive doctrines. And last an honorable mention, thanks to the tip of the spear army spirit, which is unique to the Grand Battle Plan doctrine, it is the only doctrine that provides planning bonuses in naval invasions without using the Field Marshal Frontline Planning Bonus exploit. If this video was helpful, feel free to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a good day.